Hey everybody. I have looked all over on YouTube for videos on how to replace the pull down screen on a Larson front storm door and I can't find anything anywhere. So I am going to attempt to make a video here on how to replace the screen. The Whoa, that was bad. The gee whiz, that could have been disastrous. It, the seal rips across the bottom right here and the screen just goes right up into the thing. So you start off by undoing these two screws on the end right here on your bottom sash. Next, it says you're supposed to slide these clips out after you take the screws out. I got, oh there it goes. got the new screen it comes with all new hardware plastic clips and stuff next it says to slide this bottom sash up here you had to you had to let the whole the top sash go to the bottom so gently <laughs> gently and uh, it says slide it to the side and then pop it out from this side here and remove it Next up says to put a flathead screwdriver into these clips on either side and give it a light twist and remove them. I'm manually holding the upper sash up with my hand at the same time. Took some finagling and a little prying, but they finally did slide out. Don't worry about breaking them because the kit comes with new ones and they are black. Looks like now it says to remove these two screws here. Pretty easy. Okay, you got those removed. Just remove this top panel. It kind of pulls down, comes out. Just gonna set that to the side. All right, I have already removed um, the old screen or cartridge that was in there. Um, just because I knew it was bad and to get an idea of what it looked like. The new one comes like this. This side here will go up in this top corner. That's got this thing on the end of it if it'll focus. Anyway, and then this end is like this. Has this opening and it will go up here. I'm gonna grab the old one so we can look at it real quick and compare. All right, here's the old one that came out. This is the top right that goes up there. I just put a little flathead screwdriver in there and just kind of pried it and the thing popped right out of there. It was not as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Obviously this end looks the same. Let's move on to another step. I'm going to read it. Here's what it says about step seven. Now it says to slide the top sash back up to the top till this clip here on either side is higher than the lip. And then swing this side out around this frame here and remove the sash. Now it says to slide the old, I guess, seal, whatever it was, or the bottom attachment, in, which was normally in this tray right here. I had already pulled it out when it had it in the top before I disassembled everything because it was completely split and had was no longer attached to the screen. But you just you just slide it out all the way out the other side and it'll just look like a, a thin plastic strip. Here's what it says on removing that screen. You can see how to slide it out there if you still have it attached. Next thing it says to um, remove the old metal brackets which are up at the top, which I do have, which are there and there. I'm going to remove those and it says to then install the new um, black plastic brackets 
which are down here. And here's some of the oh, new replacements that we're going to put back in of those that we took out. So I'm going to do that and see how that goes. Oh. Alright, they did come out. Took a little prying, a little finagling. I think I used finagling earlier. Um, but they did come out not that bad when you first try to start prying on them you think oh no you know but they came out uh, without a problem okay now it says to install the clips it's got three clips now I know this one here that's got the mail sticking out of it should go in for that but I'm just curious why there are two female looking pieces so I'm going to see what that's about. Maybe it's for the, maybe this here, that's got the hole. It's supposed to fit the, an old style that came out. We're going to find out. It says make sure the arrows are pointing up. I'm just taking a picture of that real quick. And then we'll be moving on to sliding the new screen in. Okay, that bracket snapped in. Make sure the arrows are pointing up. And then this bracket snapped in as well make sure the arrow is pointing up this one here that's left over that's got the little or oh, that lighting's terrible thing there will eventually go into here and that's what we're getting ready to work on but first I gotta slide this part onto the um, upper sash okay slid the new screen in through that track all the way along I kinda wanted to hang up when you first started. Looks like you also want to try to hold the remainder part of the screen rolled up fairly tight as to not lose tension. So that's a recommendation. Now it says to reinstall the sash and screen up over the top again like the reverse of how it came off. I'm going to try that. Okay I got that plastic piece like it said in the instructions to Slide it, making sure arrows are pointing up. And then this one here, if you can see it, which I'm having to hold so it doesn't fall out of there, make sure arrows pointing up and it just rolls right in. Next, it says to put the metal uh, strip across the top. Okay, we've got the metal strip put back in there that holds the cartridge in there and the screen for coming out. Put the screws that we initially took out from the beginning back in there on both sides. Be careful not to. Um, tear the screen and it does go back behind a little um, it's done in this slot right here I had my wife kind of give me an extra hand holding it I also forgot to mention I used the old screen as kind of a prop to hold that upper sash in there um, I had my wife kind of pry it in there because it's you know, obviously heavy and you got to be careful with that screen so now we're going to work on putting the um, clips that came, God, you can't see anything, the clips that came off before I was saying that we pried off with the screwdriver, we're going to put the black ones, slide those back in, snap them into place. Man, the lighting is terrible. Um, but yeah, got the new black ones clipped into place. You can see it. Um, it did take a lot of pressure, but they did go. I did have to kind of slide the upper sash side to side to make sure that there was enough room to uh, get it behind, you know, if you got to wiggle it a little bit, but it went. Right here it shows clipping it back in. The next step says just to reinstall the lower sash. I'll leave that on there so you can kind of pause and if you need to read that. I'm going to do that next. Okay, lower sash is back in. All it says to do now is put those remaining new clear tabs in there. Okay, I reinstalled the lower 